Hello and welcome to the first ever shack on location, the soft drinks shack, Steve's soft drink shack. I am visiting my good friend Ben B. We are in the city of Newmarket, Ontario, and we are about to go into a place called Nature's Emporium. Apparently they have a whole crazy selection of, uh, you know, organic and natural pops. But let's not waste any time, let's get in there right now. Lavender. I'm a big fan. Boilants. Nice. China Cola. <laughs> I'm buying that right there. No, no doubt. I haven't done a ginger ale yet. You like your ginger ale? It's good, yeah. Let's do it. I could spend all day here buying all of these and trying them all, but I'm going to just do the two today. So let's go all right. check out. So I'm back. At Ben B's place, and I got a couple cold drinks for me to look at. First up, I have Real Brew Outrageous Ginger Ale. Um, this is a product of the U.S. made by Smucker Natural Foods um, in Chico, California. Never heard of them. I'm looking forward to uh, having a look. They also do like a root beer as well, and I think a cream soda. And this original China Cola, um, made with Chinese herbs. I have no idea what Chinese herbs taste like. I'm a big fan of the Mandarin Chinese Buffet. I don't know if it's made in China or what. It's a uh, product of the U.S. made by Reed's Ginger Brew. <laughs> uh, I haven't done a review of Reed's, but if you notice in the graveyard, there's actually a Reed's bottle. Reed's uh, Extra Ginger Brew. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I bought this as a joke. I saw China Cola. I thought, I need to try this. I had no idea this is made by Reed's. My expectations have just gone through the roof. I thought this might be something quaint, made by Reeds. I'd be shocked if this was anything less than great. First, we are going to be looking at Real Brew Outrageous Ginger Ale. Now, you can tell from the color of this, it has a legit sort of ginger color, not at all unlike a ginger beer. Um, I'm not seeing chunks of ginger in it, but it's definitely cloudy, and I assume that is because of the ginger. It smells like ginger, but doesn't smell purely of ginger in the way that, say, the Reed's Ginger Brew does, that I'm a big fan of, or, uh, or that Bruce Cost that I tried did. But it definitely tastes of real ginger. This, I wouldn't say, tastes like a ginger ale or a ginger brew. I'd say this tastes like a ginger snap. It has that definite sweetness to it. Hmm. If you like a ginger snap, I would recommend this. It certainly isn't bad. Um, and it's sweet. It's sweet like a, like, almost like a Canada Dry. So if you like a sweeter ginger ale, you don't want the ginger to rip your throat out on the way down. It's a good choice. Now let's look at this China Cola made by Reeds. I'm just shocked that it's Reeds. I wasn't expecting it, and that's the greatest surprise. Kind of smells like a cola, but not, not quite. See, it's got the cola color, that's for sure. Mm. I'm getting cinnamon, a cinnamon taste right away. But not really cola. It's kind of like a sweet cinnamony drink, but not pure cinnamon. Mm. Interesting. It's not bad. It's really not bad. You can do a lot worse than it. Um, but I really have no metric with which to compare it to. It's not really a cola. It's something else in, in, entirely. Um, it's not bad, though. Uh, I don't know. If you're looking for something completely different, um, that is not a bad option at all. Um, I'll have to see if there's other drinks like that with which to compare it to, because right now it's just sort of in a weird space where I don't know where to put it. Um, but anyway, with that, we conclude the first ever soft drink shack on location uh, if you liked it leave a comment if you didn't tell me why leave a comment if you want to see me just in the shack for the rest of my life that's cool whatever you guys want it's all about the fans so anyway you guys have a good one